Now, let's see how to add a video or any website to your course. So suppose I'm a math teacher, so I have a math face here, and I'm interested in this video about vector addition from Khan Academy, so I will just copy the URL, and in the teacher view, I will do an add link, copy the URL, add link, in extended view, here it is. It usually comes with text, so this is a description that you can erase and replace by whatever you want. Watch this video. Let's check the student view, and here it is. We said it works for any website, so suppose I'm also interested in this simulation from FET. This is vector addition simulation. So I run the simulation, copy the link, and I will just add the link in my teacher view, and here it is. If it does not appear, just make a refresh in the teacher view as well. And here is the simulation. Let's check the student view. Let's make a refresh. And here is the simulation. And this really works with any website that is secured, namely with an HTTPS URL. Suppose I want even to include a Google map because I'm a geography teacher. I can include in this phase, for instance, the link of this Google map. And I will check my student view, and here it is, students can interact with that map. Now let's see how you can enter text in your online course. So let's enter the French phase. The easiest way is to write directly text in description of your items. For instance, les pensées de Pascal, veuillez lire ce text. And you can have access to all basic formatting options. For instance, Command B to make it bold, or Command I to make it in italics. Of course, Command on PC is CTRL. You can also have hyperlinks. For instance, I want to make here a link to the Wikipedia of Blaise Pascal. So I just copy here the link of Wikipedia. And in my grasp, I will do command K or CTRL K, and I copy the text. And we should have a hyperlink appearing in the student view. Now, if you want to have access to more sophisticated formatting options like bullets or justifying a text, then you have to add a document which is based for this. So my text, I create this document, and I see that now I have an item that I can edit, and in the editing options, I can have all possible formatting options. Last, if you're a math or a science teacher, and you want to write LaTeX equation, this can be done in the description of items or in a document. And to do that, you have to enter the math mode in grasp, which is backslash parenthesis, and I will just write y equals to f of x backslash parenthesis. And this should appear as a LaTeX equation in the student view.